85-year-old Wu Yansan is one of the original Samsui women. She's part of a distinct community of women from southern China who played a big role in Singapore's development. The headdress is a fundamental part of a Samsui woman's identity, providing shelter from the sun from hours of back-breaking work, while the bright red alerted others on high-rise construction sites to watch out for her below. I carried boxes, heavy boxes of fruit and coal to load onto ships. I did all kinds of work just to earn a living. I worked in rice warehouses. I was very hard working then, but now I'm old and can't do a thing. Madam Wu remembers working on buildings like these. Singapore is full of them. Rewind back a few decades and it was a similar picture. Singapore was a thriving economy that attracted poor immigrants from places like India and Indonesia, but most were from southern China. Madam Wu was among the 200,000 Samsui women who came to Singapore and stayed. She is now one of the last of these women in Singapore, with the fruits of her labour all around her. For many, she and her friends embody the spirit that made modern Singapore. Come to Singapore, I can be some sweet woman there. They may not be well known to the rest of the world, but the Sun Sweet women are now centre stage in one of Singapore's popular musical reviews. Their contributions to Singapore when it was a poor country and needed labourers to help build it up is being recognised more than ever this year as Singapore marks its 50th year since independence. As the nation looks ahead to the next 50 years, some sweet women are being held up as an example for Singapore's younger generation in the hopes that their hard work might rub off on a group some say is unaccustomed to arduous work. Sharon Jitlail, BBC News, Singapore.